folks welcome back to Jerome B farm and homestead this is gonna be a quick video update on tiny swarm 2019 uh, tiny swarm 2019 was uh, found it out in front of uh, the huge swarm hive number 27 over here and that just happens to be next to where I had an absconded cutout I did and someone left a note and I think you're right and I was thinking the same thing later on the little swarms I found on the ground that's the tiny swarm was the bees that came out of that abscond uh, for whatever reason they left and there was no queen in there so the queen took off I don't know what happened but the cutout failed and uh, we made a little uh, nuke over here with that the queenless swarm and I added a brood frame in there that had some eggs now I didn't take notes on how long ago that was I think it was like 10 to 14 days so hopefully we'll see a supersedure cell in there and it may have been long enough that it may be hatched out already and we might find us a virgin queen uh, it's getting late in the evening uh, wanted to do this after it cooled off a little bit we hit triple digits today and uh, man it's hot I wouldn't even be doing it but uh, we got a decent breeze so it'll help keep me cool so let's get into uh, the tiny swarm and one other thing I'm going to do while I'm down here I got uh, two honey supers there I'm slowly but surely taking the honey supers and putting them back on the hives after I've harvested them uh, in the past I'd put them out and just open feed them but this year I'm put I'm keeping them uh, indoors and I'm putting them back on the hive so there's no open feeding and all that mayhem so uh, that's what I'm doing with the honey supers let's get started okay here we are at tiny swarm 2019 and I do see occasional bees coming and going so uh, we still have some bees in the box that's a good sign so what we're looking for is a queen cell that they've made so I so I'm gonna make a playlist of this so uh, I'll try and put a card here for that so if you haven't seen the prior video you can go do that but so a little background I put a frame of brood with eggs in here and also I shook in a complete frame of nurse bees uh, what we don't want to find is a marked queen in here which would mean I accidentally got the queen from uh, my brood frame or my shake and got in here that would be bad so uh, I'll quit yapping and let's see what we've got Okay, the big reveal. Oh my, look at all these hive beetles. And there's a lot of beetle, there's a beetle trap on here too. Smash as many of these as I can. That's a bad thing about this spot here in the trees. A lot of high beetles. Hopefully they're not down on the frames. There's quite a few beetles in this beetle trap, so it's doing its job. Get all those beetles in there. That's the best we're going to do. So the beetles go in these little holes here. They can't get out of the trap. Then they drown in this oil. So there's definitely more bees in here now than there was before. Trying to get as many of these beetles killed as I can. I 
There's a cockroach. <laughs> Got him. All right. So here's the brood frame. Still have emerging bees. And I don't see a queen cell being drawn. Aha, here we do. Here we've got three. Four. So there's one. One. Two, three, four. So we'll let them go. So this was just an experiment. Uh, see how much. Uh, so they're out of honey. They need some honey. I hate to put anything in here with all these beetles. And I'm only going to put one frame back in. So we'll leave it three frames for now. Pressing that down so the beetles can't get underneath it and hide. Okay, uh, since there's no honey left in there, uh, I feel like they probably won't make it, so they need some food, some carbohydrates. So over in the old barn, I had some chunks of sugar on some old feeders I got and found a jar. So I got uh, tried to make it as much 50-50 as I could. And I don't like to feed my bees. Uh, this time of year when the flow's done, it'll uh, incite robbing and that's not good. Uh, so there's no uh, feeding stimulant in here like honey bee healthy or pro health, which I normally like to put in the sugar water. It keeps it fresh. But uh, that'll also attract other bees, so I don't want to do that. So we're going to give them this little half quart here. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. I may need to reduce this entrance down a little more uh, just so they can defend it. So that's the end of this part. I'm going to go uh, put on those nukes, uh, put on those uh, honey supers now. So uh, let's get started over there. The smell of that honey is strong. It attracts them pretty fast. So I've written down which uh, hives I took uh, supers off of. And the ones that... Uh, don't have a super on them now that I took one off of I will I'm gonna go put these on there now so uh, we'll figure out which one those are and get going okay so here's the notes I took so two four nine twelve I'm sorry eight twelve and nineteen had two supers and if you look over here uh, they so two, four has one on there, but eight and 12 over here is just two deep boxes. So I'm gonna put these two on eight and 12. And eight is right there, nine, 10, 11, 12. They sure are a lot lighter when they're empty. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. The elusive hive tool. And a brush just in case. I'm going to do this with no smoke. That's the plan anyway. A lot of bees in the top. All these bees that are hanging around up here would normally be in a honey super. But it's like really crowded on them right now. See how many we got here? So this is the Wildflower Meadows uh, daughter queen from wildflowermeadows.com. I want to shake these bees off in case that queen's up here. Actually, I'm just going to look real close for her. I don't want to do any shaking and disturbing any more than I have to because I don't have my smoker going here. The reason I'm saying I want to shake them down is I'm putting this excluder on there. And if the queen's up, up above, she'll be trapped in this honey super and she'll fill it full of eggs. Because this is all drawn comb that was just extracted. So they will, strong hive like this will put some honey back in here for the fall flow. Now it won't be as strong as the spring flow, but uh, we'll get some honey and it'll be a little darker variety than what we see in the spring. Hmm. I think I'll put the notch up this time. I don't remember if it was up or down, tell you the truth. Okay. Ooh, I better look good on here. Bunch of bees on the lid. Yeah, I don't see her. So this is going to be difficult. Get this down without smashing bees. So we're going to go real slow and wiggle. Let them bees get out from the crack. Okay. And I press down, it'll feel one crunch. Awesome. All right, let's get on over to, is it 12? Right there. So I am going to shake this one down. Just do it, do it a little different. And hopefully I don't regret it. Here we go. Because there's bees all over the back and the front. We want them down in the, in the hive. That wasn't so bad. They all went down instead of up in my face. <laughs> Oops, that's upside down. And here we go. Okay, ladies, fill her back up. See you in the fall. Forgot something. <laughs> And I'm not running beetle traps in this hive, so I'm not forgetting those. All right, that'll give them some more space and uh, some work to do. Okay, that's the end of the video. So our Tiny Swarm 2019 is making a new queen. So that experiment is working so far. Gave them a little bit of uh, sugar water to sustain them and got two supers returned. I think I had uh, 12 supers full uh, that I harvested so that uh, we need to get back down in here or get them protected on moth crystals. So uh, 
I got a ways to go and I'm doing a little bit of a time because of the heat. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you would and don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Y'all take care.